Hello, my name is Scott Chenoweth and I am the superintendent at Perry Public Schools. As many of you are aware, Perry Public Schools made changes to the bus transportation policies for this upcoming school year. I know that some of these changes will make it more difficult for some families. I would like to share some information that will hopefully answer questions and help make the first few days go smoother. In previous years, all elementary students, pre-K through sixth grade, regardless of the student's address, had access to school bus transportation. Secondary students, seventh through twelfth grade, were only transported by school bus if the student lived more than one mile away from the junior high or high school. A change has been made that all students, elementary through high school, will only be transported by school bus if the student lives more than one and a half miles away from the school they attend. This is a common practice by most schools in the state of Oklahoma. We have been very fortunate at Perry Public Schools over the past years to be able to provide a service that goes above and beyond what most school districts provide and what the schools are funded to provide. As we are all aware, some school districts have been forced to make changes due to funding and the decision was made for our school district to change the transportation boundaries and to follow policies and practices similar to other school districts in the state of Oklahoma. Starting this school year, students kindergarten through 12th grade will be transported by school bus if their address is more than one and one half miles from the school they attend. Transportation maps are available on the Perry Public Schools website www.perry.k12.ok.us. There are safety issues that must be allowed for when determining transportation boundaries. Elementary students, kindergarten through sixth grade, who would need to cross railroad tracks to attend school will continue to be transported by school bus from their normal bus stop. Elementary students, kindergarten through sixth grade, that would need to cross First Street to attend school will be allowed to ride a shuttle bus from the junior high to the elementary school. Students who wish to ride the shuttle bus will need to arrive at the junior high bus loading zone by 7.40 a.m. The buses to the elementary will arrive at 7.45. Students who use this service will be allowed to ride a bus back to the junior high school at the end of the day. Students with an individualized educational program who require transportation as a part of their services will continue to be provided school bus transportation regardless of their address. Other changes regarding transportation for the 2016-17 school year relate to pre-K students and students in child care or day care facilities. Pre-K students and students in child care or day care will no longer be eligible for school bus transportation. I hope this information has been helpful and has answered some of your questions. Thank you and have a good day.